so the work is to see what has been hard for us to see. And why is it hard for us to see? Maybe we're ashamed of it. Maybe we're afraid of it, right? Maybe we think there's going to be judgment about it. So what is it like to see, but to see with love, to see with compassion, to see kind of also neutrally, like, okay, that's a thought, that's holding me back, okay, that's interesting. And so, yes, the work is so much about first seeing, and, and when we see, you know, people say you spot it, you got it. Well, you don't really got it. <laughs> you, you, you spot it, you see, you begin opening the door to yourself. And the key in opening the door is to do it not with demands, not with change, not with judgment, but to do it honoring that person, to do it knowing that these thoughts, these resistances, they were born out of life experience too. They were confirmed by situations. So in order to move through those resistances, we have to first just listen, honor it, say, yeah, yeah, that's true. Now, what can I do to safely put things in place that make it okay to change, to move forward? I am passionate about this work because it is gentle and it is kind and it is effective. Listening to ourselves through our creativity, through our experience with nature, through our bodies. It's the most intimate experience and the most profound. You know, growth is not linear. We go up, we go down. We go forward, we go back. But there is a trajectory, an intentionality that is moving us forward. Every person that comes through my door is my teacher. Every person that comes through my door is an, an access or a portal into deeper places in myself. I'm so grateful for the work that I do because uh, as somebody walks through my door, they gift me with so much. <laughs>